the Johnny Manziel quotes from his father are pretty startling. Um, startling, to say the least. Yeah. Um, he's a druggie. It's no secret that he's a druggie. This according to his dad. He said this Friday in an interview with the mothership. I don't know what to say other than my son is a druggie and needs help. He just hasn't sought it yet. Hopefully he doesn't die before he comes to his senses. That's about all you can say. I don't know what else to say. How did we get to this point, Peter? Well, you know, Dan, what what I find amazing, I was explaining this to my wife over the weekend about Manziel because he's such an amazing story, you know, and I was telling her how his teammates, how about Von Miller, absolutely loves Johnny Manziel. Mm-hmm. The Detroit Lions picked a long snapper this year from Te- who had, you know, basically grown up in Texas and, and knows Johnny so well, who said he'd drop everything to go help Johnny. People who've been around him and who've been teammates with him absolutely love this guy. He's a great uh, friend, a great teammate, but he's got this demon that he just simply can't get rid of. And, you know, to me, Dan, I think what his father says is right. I think the best place for him right now would be uh, in uh, some, uh, some, some drug program. And if it has to be, uh, you know, behind bars, then so be it. Uh, but he's obviously not going to be able to do anything with his life until he can until he can lick this. I mean, I've heard a bunch of people saying, you know, well, you know, just get him back in the structure of a football team and, and he'll be OK. Well, it's never worked before. The Al Jazeera HGH story, uh, of course, attached to Peyton Manning. But now that he's retired, we've moved it to shifted it to Julius Peppers, uh, also Clay Matthews, some baseball players in there. But the NFL says the Players Association has been stalling, preventing the NFL from interviewing these players. What's the next step? What happens with these players in this report? Well, I think what happens is, if Tom Pelissero wrote a USA Today the other day, is that uh, when when uh, Clay Matthews, Julius Peppers, uh, James Harrison arrive at training camp this year, they should expect uh, to be uh, to be interviewed, or at least to be attempted to be interviewed by uh, an investigative person from the league to ask him. I'd ask them about the Al Jazeera report. Uh, Mike Neal, formerly of the Packers, is now a free agent. The league says we'll be interviewed before then. And, uh, you know, I think I, I've been wondering, I said, what is the league waiting for? And so the league claims uh, it's the NFLPA. And, and, you know, look, I think a lot of people might come down and say, well, you know, the NFLPA is being obstructionist. And I guess you could argue that. But you know, the bottom line is, Dan, the NFLPA just simply does not trust what the NFL uh, it has done and is doing, uh, it, you know, in its investigations. And so I think the stalemate here is going to continue. The next step is we'll see how players react when investigators show up on their doorstep in Green Bay and Pittsburgh uh, a month from now. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 